nowadays in neurology, we're separating conditions, neurodegenerative conditions out into proteinopathies. So Parkinson's disease, for example, um, uh, is caused by alpha-synuclein protein uh, becoming misfolded and causing problems. Um, and so it's an alpha-synucleinopathy, um, I guess. Multiple system atrophy is similar, and uh, we'll be talking about that with Wendy Phillips uh, in our session. Um, I work, uh, I have a large regional clinic uh, in Southampton, uh, which I do with uh, uh, a few colleagues, Luke Massey and Jay Donnelly. And um, we see people with progressive supranuclear palsy and corticobasal syndrome, as well as multiple system atrophy. And those are tauopathies. So in those conditions, the tau protein, which is usually used for uh, uh, to bolster microtubules, which enable transport of uh, uh, chemicals around the nerve cell, um, that tau that's usually used for microtubules uh, becomes uh, phosphorylated and uh, misfolded and causes problems in the nerve cell. Um, people may have heard of Alzheimer's disease, which is obviously a very common disease, um, and that's an example of a secondary tauopathy, which is um, where amyloid cause problems first and then tau cause problems later. And so treatments and um, uh, biomarkers for tauopathies are going to be useful for Alzheimer's disease, but also for uh, rarer diseases such as progressive supranuclear palsy and corticobasal degeneration, as I work in. Uh, there are other tauopathies as well, but they're largely a little bit less um, uh, prevalent, I guess. Uh, but those are the main neurogenitive tauopathies that we would think about.